chorizo. I have chorizo. Oh, do you really? Uh, it sounds good. Chorizo. 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 Chor
wasn't he gonna do some like interview about it or not not interview but like research about it and find out if it was actual collusion see that's the Brian. thing they keep dragging things on over and over and, i mean that's, that's something they've done for a while but and that's the part that kind of pissed me off about it because they had a cool thing there where it was like oh you could come out that it was triple h who actually like rigged that match but now we're just going to have him win again and then take it from him again. You know what's interesting yeah. about Triple H? Me and Eric were talking about how Triple H has been around for a long time. I like Derek's point on this. But he never reached the like star stature of The Rock and Stone Cold. Triple H is a very good heel, but was never like a standalone superstar face on his own. He, you know, you could mention to my dad the Rock or Stone Cold, and yeah. he would know who they are. Yeah. I don't know. I go, Dad, who's Triple H? I don't think he would know. I found out why. Why? There was an event that happened, and Triple H was punished for it. Was the it the click? Call. Yeah. It the, was the, the curtain, curtain call, call yeah. of the click. Yeah, yeah. I read about that when... Uh, he was supposed to get a push way earlier, and they bumped him way back down, and he had to work his way back up. Yeah, because he was part of a, cr a crew, and two of the guys got signed to WCW, mm -hmm. and on their final WCW. match... They all had a curtain call where they hugged and broke character. At Madison Square Garden. At Madison Square Garden in front of this huge crowd. Wasn't it WrestleMania? No. No, it, it wasn't It wasn't televised. Oh, okay. It wasn't televised, but what I was reading was that the two guys who went to WCW... Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Yeah, they couldn't be punished. Yep. The other member of the clique was Shawn Michaels, who, who was, was champion the, who at the, the time. The world champion, and you couldn't touch him. So he couldn't be punished. So Triple H took the brunt of the punishment mm -hmm. entirely on, his, mm -hmm. on himself. Mm -hmm. And I read something that was really interesting, too. Made me like Triple H a lot more. A uh, quote from The Undertaker who said, when Triple H first showed up in the WWF, I thought he was like a shit who didn't pay his dues. Yeah. He took that punishment and didn't say a word yep. and just took it and bared it and like earned everybody's respect. Derek yeah, called Triple H the mom of the WWF. And I didn't understand until he said, it's always there. Maybe not the most liked or the most outwardly expected, but couldn't do it without him. I mean, and it's like, oh. keeps the family together. You don't ever think, like, God bless Triple H. is so happy he's in my family. But if he wasn't there, there'd be no family. And, and it's like, that's really interesting because what he's doing now, I think, is some of his, I think some of his best work as a heel. He's such a shit. He's such a dick, and you love to hate him. But I think the booking of that whole story really sucks right now. Yeah. And um, the CM Punk one, I guess, yeah, I think that's the only good one going. Oh, no, you know what? The Cody Rhodes one, I think the Rhodes family one was Yeah, it was pretty decent. Perfect. It's but it's, to, it's losing steam reasons. now. Like, where do you go? Okay, they have jobs. Yep. Right. Put them well, back. It's probably going to have a shield thing going on. I don't know what's going on with the shield either because that's, that's something I think they had a lot of potential with and they just yeah. threw it so, under the butt. I mean, I like where they're going in terms of they're like the bodyguards of I like that because they came in and they were like, we're the Hounds of Justice and we beat up all the people who yeah. deserve it. And then all of a sudden it's like they're working for the corporation or the regime or whatever they're calling it. Yeah. I'm still waiting and I'm like, oh, I love that. You think this is how they got the idea for Mega Man? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Confirmed. Did, did you like the shield when we saw him live? Because yeah. you've never seen the shield before. Yeah. Did you like them? Huh? That's cool. I like that. Wow. I, I'm really interested to know, like, because there was a there were a bunch of people you didn't recognize. Like, you didn't I didn't know. know anybody except for uh, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam. Mark Henry. Show. I didn't even know Rob Van Dam. Really? I, oh Jesus! I wow. just was acquainted with him yeah. at the show for the first time. Yeah. He reminded me of a beefier Shawn Michaels, which is why I really liked yeah. him. Uh, other than the Big Show and Mark Henry, I didn't know anybody. Wow. But yeah, I thought the Shield was great. That's so cool. That makes me I, so happy. They came in like through oh, the crowd. It was really cool. Um, Rocco, is, has wrestling never like, been a thing of yours at all? No, it, 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 no, but we're all going to a pay-per-view event later this month. Yes. Yeah. I want to check it out. Oh, Sunday. which one is it? Uh, oh, TNA yeah. Bound for Glory. TNA, right. right. Yeah, it's in San Diego. What do they have now? They have what, Sting and... It's coming. Yeah. Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy's going to be there. Sting's going to the be there. Boys. Turn into Dudley Boys anymore. I don't know. hope so. Um, cause we're getting tickets this week. Well, no, cause I have that Sunday off. <laughs> Do you? Are we okay. not, are we not doing a podcast then? I don't, we might record one. Let's, yeah, we'll record one. Hey, you know what? We'll call it now. No podcast next week. If we go to this event, we'll record one. So there'll be one up on Tuesday. So we're going to go see Jeff Hardy and Sting. And, oh, you know who the main event is? Who? AJ Styles. Don't know who that is. Versus Bubba Ray Dudley. All right, cool. Cool. You remember about Red Dudley at all? No. No, okay. Oh, oh yes, I remember do. Remember the Dudley boys? The Dudley boys. The 3D. Yeah. 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where's the other Dudley? Uh, hanging around TNA. 3D um, Doritos, baby. That was my first experience with Daniel Bryan ever. What did you think of that? Awesome. Yes. Really got into yes, it. Yes, because me and Bryan used to see him in like Jewish community centers, and I fucking love how big he is now. And uh, I'm blanking. You got an unboxing or you got a Randy here. Orton. Randy, you like Randy Orton? I've seen Randy Orton maybe two times on television, mm. but other than that, yeah, he was pretty good. It was good. It was a great show. It's a good heel. That was a really fun show. 
That Fandango and the Miz. That was a fun thing with their little dance off thing. I even enjoyed the fucking Miz. There you go. Isn't that crazy? I, like I hate the Miz. Miz does nothing I was nothing griefing the hell out of him when I went to a SmackDown event and he hated it, man. You could tell he really takes it's, criticism he, like well, that. Well, I get it. I get it, but like he does he's not a good face and he's not a good heel. So what are you He's just a good company man who He's going to end up being well. yeah, he's going to end up being one of those backstage hosts. Yeah, he just he's he's a good he's a good I backstage host. I guy. think he could turn into a great heel if he, he capitalized on how much everybody hates him he in a proper way. He main evented WrestleMania like 3 years ago. Yeah. And since then has done nothing. And it's like you had something going where you were like the top heel, and I just ooh I hated you and I hated you. But he does what I hate that they have heels do now, which is they break character to go do like don't don't be a bully events and like go do charity events and everything like that. And it's like I want Ew. the heel to be a heel. I yeah. want I want a fucking hate you everything you should you, everything that's what you i do. miss cm punk's story for he had a great story with the undertaker he was right. probably the best heel in the company for why a would you time. have a villain deliver a good message Be that makes I'm no Be sense because you are you are not in it for the wrestling like the company's not in it for the wrestling they're in it for the money and the publicity and and i thought about this inside and out it's because they're all carny folk they're all they all travel did it not feel like a carnival when we went to the WWE show yeah they did. all travel from town to town in their buses and vans the gypsies and they go try to make a quick buck and and promote 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 and go to the next town and promote 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 promote, promote and they don't stop oh, yeah. it's all about the dollar and they all just keep moving that's cool but have your like heroes but deliver the, a good right, message right but if the heels like if the bad guys are just as recognizable they're in a point where now they can make just as much money off the bad guys as they can as the good guys i feel like if i was a kid and like shredder and darth vader showed up to my school <laughs> and told me to be really nice uh -huh. i would not know I what know. to think well I, it's not that i wouldn't know what to think I, it would seem fucking well, stupid exactly hey, didn't they didn't they do that like wouldn't there be parts of like cartoons or shows where the bad guys like Bulk and Skull would be like if you see somebody bring a knife to school like that kind of like PSA stuff mm. I feel like they would do that kind of stuff you know what they shows. were in PSAs funny you mentioned that uh, I'm gonna take this in another direction they were in some usually they were the vill they were like the one doing the bad thing and a Power Ranger or whoever right. would show up and say don't do that there's one I know the one you're gonna talk about remember, remember there was one with just them in it and, and kids like, show up Kids show up. And they like break character, don't yeah, they? Yeah, kids show up like, oh, it's Bulk and Skull. And then Skull like accidentally spills a soda. And the kid's like, oh, Bulk, beat him up. Like punch him in the face. And then it's Bulk and Skull. My name's Paul. Oh, what the fuck? I remember what? that. Yeah, my yeah. name's Paul. Uh, he's this, And he's Jason and he's actually like my best friend. We're not like always like this, yeah? Yeah, you don't have to like be like that, whatever, yeah. And uh it, the story behind that was that they wanted to film a PSA where they were Bulk and Skull doing that. They were Bulk and Skull saying, no, you know what? Don't mess with other people, blah, blah, blah. And they, were, and they had this point. They said, really? hey, if we're going to say don't do that stuff, let's not be in character. Yeah. Because then when you watch the show, that veil is lifted and yeah. whatever. Let's just have this kid catch us on a day where we're not acting yeah. and we're just the actors and we say whatever. That was completely their idea. And they said that way kids know, one, when they see us in public, don't fucking throw things at us. And two, <laughs> we're not breaking these characters that we've set up for six years yeah. or however. Or no, hey, but, that's, but that's wrestling when it's so, <laughs> yeah. the, Rocco, the absurdity of what wrestling is. I mean, just in, in its whole. It's part of its charm. I think, exactly. So. It's so, you could never, I feel like you, never in a million years could you come up with professional wrestling on your own. <laughs> Two guys who are barely wearing anything are just going to roll yeah. around and try to pin each other for three seconds. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, it's weird. It's just UFC, weird. Baby. And they're going to wear boas and, and chant and like taunt the crowd. I mean, sure. it started in carnivals. It is. It? it is a big carny thing. And it's so weird to see your bad guys who are bullies go to events and go, hey, kids, don't be a bully. Yeah. What, what, why? Have the good guys go and do that, and then have the bad guys have nothing to do with Speaking it. Speaking of, Ryback's current thing about not being a bully is such a stupid fucking Really? I, I love it because he is a bully. But that's, that's why I think that's funny, is that Ryback, 
was being a bully to people in the back, like in like video segments. He'd see like a guy like carrying soup, and then he'd take the soup and like pour it on the guy. That was hard to watch, man. No fucking like, like hey, he's no just a bad reason. guy. You're That's still what he thinking did. of Vulcan Skull. But now, now funny. he comes out, he cuts a promo, and he's like, I hate bullies, and CM Punk's a bully, and CM Punk's not a bully, and that's why that works as like a heel thing. But I don't know, it's it's like. I just hate Ryback. Wrestling's just, it's a silly thing that you can't take too seriously. You have to have fun with. Mm -hmm. That's it. The new plastic smells so good. Thanks for your call, man. Yeah. Oh, last, last question for yeah, you. Yeah, go. Uh, All right. South this guy's had like 10th and final no question. Go, go, go. We have Disney World, which you've never been to. Yes, I Disney have. World game days sometime? No. No, no. game days at Disney World. Come Thank to you. Game, come to game days at Disneyland. We have been to Disney World. It's not as good. If come you're going to California. go to game days in Disney World, you better go to Kurt. I can't say this enough. Maybe. Disney World is not as good as Disneyland. Yeah. Let that be known officially. From, no. from, from the word of the pimp himself. Disneyland. From the mouth of the pimp. No. The word from the pimp's mouth. There, I got it. Disneyland is just a beta for a park. <laughs> it's not real, and Disney World is real. That's why when you go to message boards about both, if they're both side by side, there's almost no posts in the Disney World one. There's always ones in the Disney <laughs> one. It's people debating how bad it is.